Hey Aquarius, I'm about to do your soul ties reading for whatever time period where you see it, but um, it is about to be May 2020. So I already pulled some oracles, but I'm going to first, I'm going to do a three part reading. First, I'm going to let y'all know how they see you, feel towards you and their issue with you. Then their most likely actions towards you. Definitely an Aquarius in isolation with the Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit, of course. It's like either very, very much single or in a situation where you feel single or alone. But um, anyway, the second part is going to be their most likely actions towards you over the next two weeks if the energy stay the same. And then for the single, single Aquarius is just coming towards you in love in general outside of a soulmate, soul tied, twin flame relationship. So, can I get six cards for Aquarius and their person? Please. Okay, I'm going to take these three just because I feel like I should. These three flipped over. Okay. Can I get three more, please? You're more so like, I feel like you have high hopes for this connection. Whether it's now or later, you feel like you'll get what you want out of this connection. But as for now, it's kind of like you're, because the two of pentacles is at the bottom. It's kind of like you're trying to maintain your peace and your happiness while trying to get things done. Like in the practical realm, like the practical things in your life that need to get done regardless of love. You're trying to stay upbeat and stay, like stay with it pretty much. But hold on, let me pull all the cards before I try to start reading. I get three cards for Aquarius's person. In their feelings, deep, deep in their feelings. Okay. The sun at the bottom. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Or you could be dealing with a Pisces. Sagittarius. Aries. Aries again. Scorpio. Those are just the signs I see here. It could be any sign. Okay. So how you see this person is. Someone who will always be your baby. Somebody who will always have a piece of your will have a place in your heart. Like, you'll always have a soft spot for this person. They can be very jovial, very... Or somebody who just feel more at peace around or more happy around. Or they just brightened up your life in some type of way. Okay. How you feel towards them being the Eight of Wands. Hmm. There's a lot you want to do with this person. It could be about you wanting to have a conversation or some type of communication with them that leads to action. This is someone, it could be a Sagittarius or any sign, but who... makes you want to explore your curiosity like makes you want to take action on the things that you're curious about they could have opened your mind because this person is kind of like in a kind of enchanted force well that's what i see it as and it's kind of like they they opened you up i don't know if this is your first soul connection so this person pretty much opened you up to a whole um new way of looking at love and connections like opened you up spiritually and made you start looking more into spirituality or um things that are not so obvious in front of your face pretty much so if not you could just want communication with the person your issue being the five of wands so you feel like they're being pulled in way too many directions 
with the five of wands or you could feel like they're too calm or complacent Cause this person is kind of sitting there while all this other shit is going on. They're just sitting there like in a daze. So it's one or the other. Either that they um don't react in the proper way, <laughs> you feel like. Or they're being pulled in too many, I mean, too many different directions. I was about to say competition. So they could be pulling you into competition or making you feel like you have to compete with them. Or you two could just not be on the same page. If that matched you, then how they see you is the Six of Cups. Like I said, all in their feelings about you. See how this person is reminiscing heavy. But the person, I don't know if y'all can see that. While she's looking at her reflection in the water, the person who she's seeing in the water is not even her. So, they could be remembering things. <laughs> what is it called? Like romanticizing the past when it comes to you. Or thinking about all the good times. Like the honeymoon phase of the situation. Um, I feel like they're very shocked at how connected that they feel towards you. Like they're shocked that somebody was able to bring out this sort of emotion in them. They didn't expect to miss you the way that they do. They didn't expect for you to change them the way that you did with the tower. Um, the same way I was saying, like, you opened them up. you They opened you up. I feel like you definitely opened them up with the tower. Shit comes crumbling down. You start seeing things totally different than you did in the past. So I feel like that's like a mirroring effect. Um, that's just what I'm getting from these cards. Keep in mind, if you see a card, you feel something, hear something that I don't say, go with your own intuition before mine. Because that could have been your own personal message. But with the tower, it's like, they can also feel like, let me clarify this. I was going to say, they can also feel like you're done with them. But I feel like it, for the majority of Aquariuses who I'm going to connect with, it's the first way I felt it. Why is this tower here? They're realizing that, oh, this was a, this was for a bigger purpose. Like, this is not someone who I just, um, met. They're looking at it some, as something that was not by chance. But something that was destined. Because I'm looking at the one and the six equaling seven. Like, this was a divine, they're realizing that it was a divine connection or is a divine connection. See, two of cups. I tell y'all, if y'all don't know, this is a soulmate card. The two of cups is about reciprocated love, divine unions. It is about twin, it's often related to like twin flame connections. Soulmate connection, soul ties. So, like I said, they're having an epiphany. <laughs> That you are their soulmate. And then we have the Six of Cups with the Two of Cups, which is, these are both soulmate cards. So, like I said, they're all in their feelings about you and seeing, like, um, they could be seeing synchronicities or really getting into um, certain things that they're realizing is not a coincidence when it comes to you and them coming together or being together um yeah so they're having a realization they're waking up pretty much they're awake to the fact that this is an extraordinary divine um connection that's what it looks like their issue is the fool so either manning up or womaning up and taking the first steps like initiating something is their issue or it's like they don't want to look foolish or stupid for some reason I rarely get that with the fool card it's like um some sort of risk they're scared to take 
with the fool being here. Or they could feel like you've started over without them. Okay, I'm going to move on to this person's most likely actions towards you over the next two weeks. What is this person's energy and actions towards Aquarius over the next two weeks? Keep in mind, nothing is set in stone. This is just if the energy stay the same as they are now. But you have free will. They have free will to change the energies between you two right now. So, can I get 10 cards? What Aquarius is person's most likely actions towards them over the next two weeks? Shuffle two more times. Sorry if the sound is funny because I'm using like um, headphones. I don't know how it's going to sound, but I'm probably going to put it out anyway. And if it sounds bad, I'm just going to order it. Um, a better mic. This person's energy and actions towards Aquarius. I said two more times, didn't I? Okay. It still doesn't feel right. I saw the devil. I saw the devil. So you could be dealing with an um uh Capricorn or some Aquariuses could be dealing with Capricorn. Alright. The two of cups again, the ten of cups again, the six of cups again. Okay. Shit. Let me clarify something really quick. Why is the four of pentacles here? Nine of cups. Wow. Then we have the fool that I opened up to. The fool came out again. Okay. So something you said to them in the something you said to them made them feel like it's over. Starting off with the Knight of Swords and Ten of Swords. So communication or lack thereof is making this person feel like it's over. Then we have the world over top of the Ten of Cups. They feel like you're happy without them. You're moving on without them. But with the lovers being here, like I said before, and then the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups coming out again, they're realizing that this is a soulmate connection. They're feeling left out or like, um, like they're missing their companion. They're missing their soulmate. Get one more card, please. Okay. This person's been reminiscing about you for a while. This is representing their recent past energy. They could have been thinking about an argument that you two had or thinking about the good times or really both but right now they're in this lover's energy so like I said before it matches up with the first spread they're thinking about the union and like what it means or the bigger purpose for you two coming together is what they're pondering about right now um in the near future, this person is going to express some sort of love towards you or give you some sort of offer. That's what I feel. If this is um, for you. 
They see themselves as totally in love with you. With the two roses and the two cups. This is about reciprocated love. This is about wanting to give and receive genuine love from another person. So that's, that's what they see themselves ready to do. It's like a not knowing what you have until it's gone. Or once it was over, it really hit them with the tower and then the ten of swords. Um, they see you, like I said, as happy regardless. And I feel like that's correct because in, in the other spread, the ten of cups came out for you. So they see you at peace or trying to find your peace outside of them or regardless of you whether or not you two come together um they're fearful that you two will argue like if you left off in a place where you two were beefing or like going back and forth or saying things that could have been hurtful they're scared to return back to that place um they don't want no problems with you and they're the final outcome being a four of pentacles the nine of cups the fool and the two of wands like somebody's going to make a decision to be the fool like you can't you have to, somebody's going to have to take the risk someone's going to decide to stop playing it safe in order to get what it is that they are wishing for or longing for or um see as their dream and their wish fulfillment in this connection somebody's going to make a choice not just with their words but with their actions to initiate a new beginning and i get that see and then from the bottom of the deck we got the ace of swords and then the four swords in reverse the four swords upright is about inaction well pretty it's pretty much about mental action but physically not doing anything but four swords in reverse is definitely about action as opposed to just thinking about what you want like i said making decisions um with your actions not just your words or your thoughts so moving on to single single aquarius i feel like this is a long video but i don't know Moving on to Aquarius who feels single, single, or not connected. Or if you do, you're worried. I mean, you want to know, like, what's coming towards you outside of this person. So where is Aquarius in love in general? And what do they have coming towards them over the next two weeks? Aquarius. Although what I just got in my head is money on your mind. So some Aquarius could have money on their mind. But where are they in love and what do they have coming towards them in love in general? Aquarius. Aquarius. Three of Cups. Three of Swords. The moon. The chariot. Mother of wands. Two of wands. The tower. The nine of pentacles. Justice at the bottom. So, the. <laughs> I feel like whatever single, single Aquarius who I'm talking to. You're kind of, you're either trying to keep things strictly platonic with people and people who you see as romantically, no, I don't want to say romantically attractive, people who you know could possibly be good for you in love or relationships. You keep it platonic or strictly like as friends just because you don't, either you don't want to hurt them or you don't want to give them the opportunity to hurt you pretty much. You 
to either have a fear of the unknown or either if you don't have a fear of the unknown, you just know that there is a whole lot of shit unknown. So therefore, you're not trying to like attach yourself to anybody because you don't trust people or if you or you don't trust people with your heart or to come into like a a union with like a covenant or like a in order for y'all to be like a team because justice being here at the bottom that's about commitment is because this is love so that could be about committed relationships or marriage you don't trust the idea of marriage or coming together with anyone at least right now because you either don't want to give someone the power to hurt you or you just feel like you know you will hurt them or they will hurt you i don't know so i don't know where the fuck this ace of cups came from did i never pick it up i don't know but i'm gonna leave it there um in the recent past you could have tried to cooperate with somebody you have two you have three threes so you could have dealt with situations where the other person was always dealing with other people behind your back could have had whole relationships families marriages or whatever and trying to like make shit work with you so you don't trust relationships maybe you put your energy and time possibly even money into building the connection and there was a lot of secrets so the camera paused like i was saying whatever happened in the past that has you like um certain that you can't trust anyone right now has you in the mood of the king of swords the king of swords can represent you an aquarius libra or gemini person so you're looking at things and then the king of swords can also represent a, a lawyer or like a I'm not going to say, a, well, I'm going to say a judge just because justice is here and justice reminds me of the judge. So you're like the, the judge and the jury <laughs> when it comes to your life in a way where it's like you look at the facts of the situation. Maybe you looked at your emotions more in the past or maybe not. Maybe this is just how you are in love. Like you look at the facts of what makes sense for your life practically. You're not just looking at how somebody can make you feel. I feel like I'm talking to Aquarius who feels like that would be selfish to just make decisions based off of feelings or passion or pleasure or something. When it comes to relationships, it's like if you're going to come together in a committed relationship with someone, committed relationship with someone, it has to make sense as far as what are you two going to do? What are you two going to add to each other's life? Um, and then if somebody was to come back from the past, they would have to make the shit from the past make sense. If it didn't make sense, like you're not going to do anything based on emotions, feelings, or passion or attraction. So in the near future with the, um, try it being here. I feel like this is about you having tunnel vision when it comes to your goals, some sort of thing you want to manifest for yourself with the tray it could be about you moving like literally moving to another home to another um or it could be about you getting a new car or needing to do work on your car or or either it's about you doing something or putting all your energy into something that's going to make you feel successful it also can be about a cancer coming into your life because with the Ace of Cups, it, it's like a love offer. So you could be meeting a new cancer or a person who is very successful, a person who travels a lot, or um, someone who is very goal-oriented, one of those things that I say. So you're seeing yourself as very attractive. Like, you're feeling yourself. You feel like you're a good catch. You feel like... um you know what to do in order to get a love partner. Like you have everything it would take in order to get someone in love. Okay. Someone else sees you as this two of wands energy. So someone sees you as innovative. 
Y'all got the moon twice, so some of y'all could be dealing with the Cancer or will be dealing with Cancer or Pisces. Or really any sign, because I see Scorpio here too. Virgo. Um, but anyway. And Libra. <laughs> but like I said, it could be any sign. Someone sees you with the Two of Wands as someone who has the ball in your court. People in love see you as someone who has the ball in your court. So you could have a lot of offers. They, Someone sees you as someone who has a lot of offers. And the decision of who you're going to choose is pretty much up to you. You're trying to avoid a disaster with the tower being here. Like, you don't want to build anything on a faulty foundation. You don't want to... Um, invest in things that are going to be a waste of time pretty much with the tower being there and your last card out is the nine of pentacles so this is about being happy single self-sufficient um confident in yourself but with the feathers being here it's like a very gentle energy like i don't feel like you're going to be dating a lot of people but i feel like you're going to be more focused on Probably your money, your business, your career, or your family, and or your health. Um, and at the same time, knowing that you have what it takes to get what you want in love. And you're not, you're pretty much, this is the energy of somebody who is not going to settle. With the um, King of Swords being over to top of the Nine of Pentacles, you're not going to settle for anything as far as love and relationships. So, the advice that came out for... I meant to bingo over this. The advice that came out for Scorpio was transition. So, really, both of these are about accepting some sort of change because this is your person's advice being soul time. And um, I feel like it makes sense now more so after the reading because, like I said, this person is having an epiphany of like this being a soul connection. So, the advice that came out before I even start started pulling tarot was soul time which asks us to allow this possibility of new reality to emerge one that embraces the concept that while the corporal okay body is mortal the soul is timeless limitless and infinite so they're realizing possibilities like the fact that you two could have known each other in the past life or the fact that you two could have a bigger mission or a bigger purpose for meeting each other with soul time so they're getting more in touch with their spirituality which came out in the first spread and um your advice being transition some sort of change you're going through adapting to some sort of change um the frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence in our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. So, that's your advice. So, it's self-explanatory. I be trying to think of more shit to say, but, I mean, hopefully this made sense for some Aquarius out there. Thanks for watching. Peace.